today we'll be combining motion tracking with animation in Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoy. So I am here in my After Effects, where I've just prepared my clip. First thing you want to do to get this effect started is of course prepare a composition. So just drag your clip onto new composition. As you can see, this is just a regular clip, no effects applied. Select your clip and go to Tracker. If you can't find Tracker, you want to go to Window and then Enable Tracker. Now that that is done, you want to go to the Tracker and click on Track Camera and just let After Effects do its thing. First, it will analyze the background and then it will solve the camera. Once that is done, you will see all of these tracking points in your clip. If you can't see them, just click on your 3D camera tracker effect and they should be visible. And these are basically some points that After Effects thinks that we can track stuff to. Find some that you think will work well for your tracking. And select multiple tracking points by holding down the left mouse button. Then you want to right click and create a new text object. This will automatically create a 3D camera tracker as well as a text. And right now, as you can see, we have created a text might not be that visible it will be in just a second first let me just get it a little bit closer to us so we can see what we're working with so here i'm just going to change the coordinates a bit pull it a little bit closer because we want to see what is going on all right now that we can see what we're working with i want to change the, the title i'm going to change it to dunk i'm just going to format it slightly make it a little bit bigger as well as change the spacing a little bit and now it's time to properly format how the text looks in the tracking and here there's no right or wrong you just gotta play around with it until you get something that looks right but here it is especially important to play around with the rotations if you want to get that a good motion tracking that really sells the look and for now i think i'm happy with this all right now it's time to animate click on animate and then click on enable per character 3d Click on animate again, and then click on position. Open the range selector, turn the offset down to negative 100, and enable keyframes at the start of your clip. Go to where you want your animation to end. Me is one second into the clip. And turn the offset up to 100. Go into advanced, change the shape to ramp up, turn the ease high to 100, turn the ease low to 100, and turn on random letters if you want the same look as me. And now, to get the animation going, we can play around with the position. I'm changing the Y coordinate here, but it actually kind of simulates the C coordinate here because my text is flipped 90 degrees. And now we already got a beautiful motion tracked animation going. You can play around with it a little bit. At this point, maybe you want to play around with how your motion track text looks a little bit. See if you can get a better look. I did that here. I didn't think it improved it anything, but uh, I still decided to go with it. So it is what it is. And as I said, there's not really any right or wrongs here. You just got to do what looks right. At this point, we're going to animate it out and we're basically just going to mirror our offset where it goes from 100 and then to negative 100 for it to animate out. And I'm already pretty happy with this effect. Here I'm just checking if it will overlap with some of the guy's body. At this point, we can add some other animations. I'm going to add some rotation. I think that could look pretty cool. So the letters kind of will come spinning down. It's very subtle, but I think it looks nice. I'm also going to add some blur. This is just to simulate some motion blur. But anyways, that was all I have for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know which type of tutorial you'd like to see next. And also please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care guys.